Hey guys, it's Rachel from free scrapbooking ideas and videos.com. I'm just letting you know about a, a project that I'm working on. It's a Shutterfly photo book. Um, I've been talking about it over on my Facebook page and I have done, I've not done too many photo books. Um, I use another company um, in the last year or so that I, I did like, um, but I'm definitely liking Shutterfly better. They have a really nice um, website and way to put it together and I'm just going to show you a little bit. I'm by no means an expert but I'll just give you a little taste. You get to choose a style and then you get to choose um, sort of a theme if you want to. It's got coordinated backgrounds and embellishments um, and that's what makes it really fun. It's almost like digital scrapbooking. Um, it's kind of similar. So this is my cover page. I'm not quite sure I like that. I may have to change that. It just that they just sort of did that for me. But here's one of the things I liked a lot. I uploaded all the photos and then I just clicked on this storyboard and you were able to place the photos. They they all appeared here when I uploaded them. And then you were able to place them on the pages. Um, so I had 20 pages and I was able to just drag and drop which I liked a lot. It was much easier than the site I had used before. So I liked that feature a lot. I could lay it out a lot easier, kind of see the big picture. And then um, you can see over here there are embellishments and you have a whole uh, a whole group of coordinated embellishments even with some letters and numbers. That was really neat. And then they have lots of different backgrounds you can use. They also have idea pages if you want to see what they've done with the embellishments and backgrounds. Um, so I'm just going to kind of flip through a few of these. Um, this is all about uh, our house and I have done a, an album similar to this but it wasn't with a photo book and I drew a floor plan and made a little key for the photos so that I could see where the photos were taken on the floor plan. So I wanted to use that same idea here. I'm going to draw my own floor plan and, and probably make an envelope in the back of this book and put the floor plan in there and, and make a key on it, but I loved the fact they included um, letter embellishments. So I, I used the letters and numbers for all the photos and that way I can, um, after I, when I draw the floor plan, I can go back and and key them, key the photos to the floor plan. So that's kind of my nerdy little thing, but I, I, it's just fun for me. So anyways, I'm just going to flip through a few of these. Um, I probably will add some journaling and or I might do my journaling with also the key. Um, and do a maybe like a little flip book of journaling in the back instead of putting the journaling on the actual pages. I may just you know make a little a little insert in the back and say photo H and then do my journaling. Um, I'm not sure yet. I have not decided. So they actually placed some of the embellishments for me. They just did the pre-chosen layouts based on this storyboard that I did. That was really nice too. Um, I could like I said earlier, click on the storyboard and place the photos on each page and then they just picked a layout that worked. I think, I haven't tried this, but I think if I wanted to I could switch up the layouts. There's also a layouts tab over here. I assume I could do that if I didn't like the way they did the layouts. And I might go back and change up a few of them. But anyway, it's just a little update on how this project is going and, the, and just a little bit about Shutterfly. Like I said, I am not an expert, but I'm really, really liking their software, their interface, whatever you want to call it, and I will let you know, Lord willing, when I get it done. Um, you can sign up for my easing, Lord willing, that'll be coming out soon as well for May over at free scrapbooking ideas and videos.com and click on the free easing tab, and um, or you can find me on my Facebook page. I will place both of those links in the description box. Okay, thanks a lot.